Good morning, students. Today we are going to start a first chapter of our textbook Flamingo. The name of the lesson is the last lesson. In my previous lecture, I had given you a brief introduction in the form of an audio. Today we will discuss this PowerPoint presentation about what we are going to uh, read in this lesson. Basically, this is Alphonse Dodit who has written this uh, lesson. Now see about this lesson. Why this lesson is called the last lesson? Although this is the first lesson in our syllabus, because in the Franco-Persian War, France was defeated by the Persian army. Persia was uh, combined forces Germany, Poland and Austria and two districts of France, Alsace and Lorraine. They were captured by Prussia. So now when we start the lesson, we see the narrator of the lesson, Franz, who is a small boy from Alsace, he is going to his school. Although he is unwilling to go to his school because he is scared of his teacher, M. Hamel. He is very lazy boy, you know. While passing the town hall, town hall is a common place where all the news is uh, pasted on a board and where he sees so many French citizens have overcrowded in front of the bulletin board. They are reading some news. He cannot understand why they are uh, standing in that much crowd today. But later on he comes to know when he goes to his school that on the bulletin board there was a news that no French school will hereafter teach French. All the French teachers are ordered to leave the country and students should attend their schools and learn German as their language. So from the next day onwards, only and only German language would be taught in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. Next please. Now Franz, he cannot read the order and in the school, Franz is told of the new order that his teacher is uh, going to leave the school. So earlier he was never interested in his studies. While you will go through the lesson, you will come to know that this boy never attended his lessons seriously. Rather he uh, went out to enjoy the slides uh, or he kept on watching the nests in the window, fr uh, panes, window frames and uh, he was never interested in his studies for learning but today when he comes to know that today is the last lesson he is going to uh, be uh, I should say be taught then he is very serious he is very sad he cannot uh, leave the idea that his books will be he will have to give up his books as well as his teacher will be going, although he knows that his teacher was an odd man. Next please. So he listened to Mr. Hamel's last lesson very carefully and how wonderful it is that he understood every word, every grammar, every rule, everything about French language that day only. The last class transformed his life. He, his, his attitude, right? right, And uh, he was transformed because he became from a naughty student to a very serious student. Next. The main characters, this Hamel. Hamel is the teacher. He is uh, the French teacher, passionate about his language. He considers French language as the best language, most beautiful, clearest and uh, he believes in a, a person's sense of freedom. Next please. 
and uh, he is a very hard taskmaster, very particular about discipline also and learning. Next, sensitive and honest. As far as Franz is concerned, he is also sensitive, honest. He blames himself for ignoring his lessons, for skipping his lessons. And uh, he loves outdoors, sunshine birds, butterflies, collecting birds, eggs. Right? But as a student today, he is repenting that why he didn't pay attention to his studies. Next. Now, in this, uh, my dear students, I just want to focus on this thing, linguistic chauvinism. What this chauvinism is? Chauvinism is feeling pride in one's language, territory, or caste, or creed, or whatever. Here, the people, those who have captured these districts, Alsace and Lorraine, German people, now they want to rule over the minds of the people also. As Lord Macaulay once said in British Parliament, that if you want to rule over the minds of Indians, then impose English language as their medium of instruction in their syllabus. Similarly, here Germans also want to dominate the minds of French people by imposing their language and that is why they have passed the rule that from the next day onwards only and only German language would be taught in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. So questions we will be discussing after we go through the lesson. Thank you very much.